this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William. Did the witch get you, William? <laughs> just before I started, I was like, oh, just to warn you, there's a creeper in the pond. Oh, and then there's a witch, and I guess the uh, I guess the witch found you. Looks like you uh, looks like you dealt with the uh, the witch, okay? And yeah, there's a creeper. Oh, wait, wait, I can I, I got a crossbow. I got a crossbow. Look, let me do some crossbow practice. Uh, oh wait, oh maybe maybe right. Oh no, William, 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 William! My crossbow practice isn't going well enough. <laughs> I'm too slow. <laughs> I like that faith. I like that faith for William just to stand and just stare at me as a creeper comes up behind him. You know what? Three out of three. I hit every single shot and I think we're uh, we're safe now. Oh, doesn't it look lovely mornings now in my lovely world? Look how bright and shiny everything is. I love it. Anyway, uh, let's go inside. Uh, something else that I love is, of course, my cake, which I'm going to have my, for my breakfast. Nom, 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 <clears throat> nom. Very tasty. Barnaby... Uh, chill out. You can uh, stay there slightly inside of the weird crafting table with a red saw and a red hammer. We won't ask about that. <laughs> uh, you stay there. Secret. You can join me today. This is going to be Secret's first video joining me all by herself. So uh, this is a big day for her. She's going to be very, very brave, uh, I'm sure. And uh, we're going to have a, a very, very fun time. And I'll keep you uh, safe. All uh, right, before I do that, though, I'm going to go down to my... Love well, not, not before I keep you safe. Before we go over to build anything. I'm going to go down to my love garden. And I'm adding Jack to my love garden today. And the reason I'm adding Jack is because of this incredible birthday cake he got for his ninth birthday. And it looks absolutely amazing. And the other thing I love is the touch under the nine balloon. All of the balloons are kind of like the colors of a creeper. And I feel like that's got to be intentional, and I just love the uh, the in, the uh, attention to detail there. So yeah, anyway, I hope you had an amazing birthday, Jack, and welcome to my love garden. And we are building a new mini game today, and um, we're building it somewhere relatively close. So what's going to be the best way? Uh, we'll go from my house, seeing as we have googlies uh, aplenty <laughs> around the, the place. Uh, we'll go from my house, we're going to go down to the SS Stumpy, my big old boat. Uh, and then we're going to sail, not in the SS Dumby, because, um, yeah, it's too big. <laughs> it won't fit. Uh, but in a little boat uh, from the uh, from the pier down here by the um, uh, the the submarine. And, oh, yeah, there's something I've got to mention about my submarine in a bit. Something exciting. Oh, this one works. This one's the, the, this one's a shiny a shiny saw. Why is the, the crafting table in my bedroom not working? I might, like, break it and place it down again and see if that fixes it. Oh, do you want to get in my boat? Secret, do you want to get in my boat? Oh, sorry. Oh, William, you can get my, in the boat if you want. But I just didn't know. I don't know. I said, I don't know Secret. Secret's still a new dog for me. Does Secret like boats? Secret loves boats. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, 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 I'm going to regret this. I hate it when dogs go in boats. No offense, Secret. I just hate getting dogs out of boats because I'm so scared that they're going to <laughs> that they're gonna get hurt because you're going to, like, break the boat with a sword or just punch it. Anyway, this is where we're going. Um... So let me do a test. If I do just, uh, oh, don't, don't nudge the boat, William. Don't nudge the boat. If I punch, okay, that's the boat shaking. So if I use the sword now, uh, I hate this. Uh, okay, you're fine, secret. You're fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is where we're building. I'll explain about what the, uh, the game is uh, in a little bit. But first, I am going to go uh, underwater splunking. Uh, I don't know if you want to join me, William. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go down here because this is where I was building, and we needed to build uh, an area underneath. So I feel was filling it in with dirt. But while I was digging down, I found this mysterious cave, and I wonder whether any of you recognize this cave at all because it really confused me at first. I dug down and I saw the fire and stuff, and then I went down here and I was like, "What is this place?" And then I remembered. If you go down here, you can see that there's um yeah, a cake down here. And I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful because this ended badly last time. There's a trap isn't there like a trap here somewhere? Yeah, that's where I fell down. This is one of Hit the Target's traps. And I sailed my submarine down that cave and he lured me with a cake. And uh, I'm not going to eat the cakes. It might be poisoned or at least gone off because it's been down there for years. Uh, can, oh, can I get back out this way? I can. I can. Uh, yeah, I just came across it while I was digging. So it was all just buried under the ground of my fun land and had been for absolutely ages. So I just thought I'd uh, kind of show you uh, a little bit of a, a blast from the, the past uh, of a rather dangerous encounter that I had with uh, with Hit the Target a, a very long time ago. Anyway, uh, let's go and um, let's go and, uh, and try and, uh, and start building this game then. So basically... 
basically, the game is all about using a shield and uh, a crossbow. So basically, the way it's going to be is someone will have a shield, they need to walk up a long corridor, and the other person is going to be shooting uh, crossbows at them. And, oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I can see what happened. Did, did uh, your swim not go very well uh, last time? Oh yeah, it's because I was using the light. There's a light ray that shines down because I'm in ray tracing so I could see. Oh, did you try and use a torch to breathe underwater? Yeah, that doesn't work anymore, William. <laughs> Good luck. Go get your stuff. <laughs> yeah, so basically you've got to go down a long corridor and you've got to use the shield to block the, uh, the arrows. If the person shooting you with arrows uh, kills you, uh, then you win. But the main reason you're shooting arrows is to slow them down because to block with a shield, you've got to crouch, which slows them down. So it's basically going to be a race. We're going to be running back and forth uh, through a bunch of corridors. And basically, you need to try and guess when the other person's going to try and shoot you so you can have the shield up. But obviously, you want the shield up as little as possible because you're going to go slower if you have the shield up. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does make sense. And you know what? I think it's one of those games where it sounds like maybe not particularly exciting, but I did a test to go with William, just with the uh, the version that I built in my sketchbook world, and it was so fun. It's so tense because it's all about the mind games. It's all about trying to guess because you could say, right, I'm gonna, I got my crossbow. I'm just going to shoot as fast as possible. But if you do that, it's quite predictable. And the reason it's a crossbow rather than a... um a bow and arrow is because the crossbow you can fire it quick but it takes quite a long time to like pull it back initially so like if you like fire the arrow i know ah okay there's a good like a couple seconds well you know they're not going to be able to fire well i can go and try and sprint ahead really quickly or you could do the strategy of being like right i'm going to pull back the arrow i'm going to have it loaded in the crossbow and i could fire it at any second now but I'm not going to fire it. Instead, I'm going to hold it, and then that might mean that they, like, leave the, the shield up the whole time, and, um, you know, that means they're going to, like, be going really slowly, so you can kind of play all these little, uh, these little mind games to, uh, to try and get people involved. <laughs> Willa, did you give up trying to get your stuff back? <laughs> oh, poor Willie, what a disaster. I probably should have had a, um, a bit more warning about what... <laughs> <laughs> what you were going to be jumping into. Do you, do you want me to see if I can go find your stuff? I don't know if I don't even have room to pick it all up. I don't even know where he died. Uh, I can't. Oh, doesn't start. It doesn't stuff float now, though, right? Wouldn't it like? Wouldn't have all your stuff like be floating up to the top somewhere? It's, it's, it was all the way down there. All right. Let me t let me take a. Br oh no, I'm going to drown now. Oh oh. oh where was the? Uh, where, 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 oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. <gasps> the, the, the light isn't shining down in the same way. The, the sun has moved. It's made it harder to, to see. Uh, oh, oh, there's a little air pocket down here on the left, William. Look, if you come down here, you can breathe here. And then you might be able to keep going down. I don't know where any of the, the stuff is. I, I guess if you just look for the little air pockets as you go down. Where did you drown? I can't, I can't see your stuff anywhere. Because <laughs> I guess you could borrow some of my tools. I let I let you for this episode only. You can borrow my shovel if you want. If you want to do the the digging, because yeah, the, under the the floor we're gonna have um. Oh, I'm so bad at swimming in bedrock when it like switches to to this view. Uh, but yeah um, yeah I I I'll let you borrow my shovel because there's gonna be a bunch of glowstone under the uh under the floor. And then we're going to do carpets on top of that so we can see. Right, where's the opening? Here it is. It is quite actually quite tricky to see underwater with the uh, the old ray tracing on. Uh, so, uh, right, looks like uh, William's doing the wall. So basically, yeah, you're going to go from that side and you're going to run all the way down here. And then here, there's going to be like kind of like a window. So there's going to be an opening there like that. So that's where I'm going to be firing down. So here, they'd be running towards me. But then when they get to here... Uh, they're going to be running back the other way. So it's going to have three different colors. It's going to have orange, uh, green, and blue. Uh, and then white corridors in the middle. So and this corridor... Oh, no, no, no. This is wrong. This is wrong. Oh, I forgot shears again. I did that. And then why, when I'm building out of wall, do I always forget to have shears? So yeah, it's going to be orange here. And then it's going to be blue here. But then the uh, the floor uh, is going to be white. It's kind of like the uh, the middle area. So this part is going to be extra tricky. Because uh, tricky, as you're running away from the person that's firing arrows at you, you're going to have to be like sprinting and then turning around to block. Also, 
you can try and be like, you know what? I have enough health that I could get hit like once or maybe twice. I kind of want to be shot in the back. <laughs> and the reason you'd want to be shot in the, the back is because it gives you a speed boost. So maybe if you have a lot of health, you can risk trying to take one shot uh, and then that way it can speed you along. So for a game which is like literally how fast can you run down a bunch of corridors, there is a surprising amount of like different strategy and options that you can uh, go for uh, when uh, when playing the, the game. So I tell you what, William, if I give you, look, I'll give you my special efficiency two diamond shovel for today only. That's not a present, that's a loan. <laughs> William, I know, I know how much you love your shovels. Uh, if you start digging up the floor down there, uh, we can start placing down some glowstone. I'll make a crafting table to make some carpets. Actually, I don't need a crafting table to make carpets. I can make them anyway. I don't know why I sounded like <laughs> I was like super bragging. <laughs> like everyone can make carpets anyway, but I am just uh, included in that. And then on the, the roof, we're going to have some glass. It's not, I'll be honest, it's not like the most, um, exciting looking uh, mini game that uh, I've ever done. I mean, it's very much in the old classic stampy stuff. Oh yeah, the uh, <laughs> there's quite a big pit <laughs> under the floor and that's because there's going to be some redstone. I haven't even mentioned about the redstone. Don't worry. Don't panic. We're not doing any uh, any redstone today. Uh, that will be coming at a uh, at a later date. Uh, but basically the redstone is very simple uh, as I always say. Uh, it's just it's just a timer. So basically as you uh, enter that side as the, uh, the shielder, you're either going to be a shooter or a shielder. And I've just realised... I don't think the light is coming through the carpet, is it? It's not lighting. It's not lighting up at all, is it? Look how dark it is here. All right, I guess we we'll add down torches. I think maybe in um maybe with ray tracing it doesn't work, but for everyone else it will work. Oh, it, it oh it does. So you can see the light still. Okay, that's good because that's really all that matters. Because oh, I like look at that effect as I put the carpet down. That's cool. I've never known what a light shining through carpet would look like. So it means it's just dark for me, and I guess for you because you're kind of experiencing this world through my eyes. But it means the googlies won't spawn there, and that's the uh, the other main reason. Uh, let me just—I'm going to throw down some carpet behind you, William. If you carry on doing that, uh, I want to go and start doing some of the um. Uh, some of the glass uh, that's going to be down uh, over the area, which is going to be kind of like a, a ceiling. So yeah, as I was saying, red zone, very simple. Basically, as you enter the uh, the area, uh, it will start off a timer. It will be counting down some sort of item. At the moment, in my little like mock-up version, I did it so it would be um, counting down uh, like iron ingots, just because... I don't know, like, coming down carrots or something seemed a little bit weird. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, it's just something that you can easily get a lot of. So basically it will be having one chest and then a hopper and another chest. And then when you start the timer, it will just start dropping it down from one to the other. Uh, and then when you uh, reach the end, there'll be another press plate that stops it. Like, literally very, very simple. But the good thing about this game is that if you don't want to do redstone, it could be, like, just about the simplest build you're ever going to get in Minecraft. Because it's, it's just corridors. Like, what we're building today is we're building a bunch of corridors and then some windows to shoot down. So if you really, like, don't want to have a go doing any of the redstone stuff, like, that's fine. Like, you absolutely don't need to do the redstone stuff. You can just start do a stopwatch just on your phone or your computer or something. Just do a little, like, simple stopwatch and then, um... Yeah, you'll be absolutely uh, fine doing it that way. Right, this class is going to go to here. I might try and build, um... <clears throat> this area along here a little bit. Uh, oh, this looks... this looks a bit weird. Uh, this doesn't look right. This window should be all blue. Ah, oh, this isn't the blue window here yet. This here is meant to be white. So this is going to be the white side there. And then this will be the, the blue window along there. And then this one will once again be white there like that. I think I'm doing this right. Uh, and then the last one will be green. So there's going to be quite a lot of like corridors like overall once we've uh, once we've done them all. Uh, and there's a lot of googlies. And oh, William doesn't have anything, right? Oh, this is good. This is like um, payback. Well, not payback because that sounds like mean. This is... um. Uh, a reward? I don't know. Because William's always the one protecting all of us normally. He's normally the uh, the lookout from the googlies when it gets to, to night time. But this is, um, yeah, I guess payback does make sense, even though it does <laughs> sound like really mean for some reason. Um, yeah, returning the favor. There we go. That might be a better way to put it. So I've run out of orange wall, but that will be orange along there. Then this will be white here. Uh, and then this will be uh, blue like this here. And this is going to be white here. So you're going to go like... How many times do you run down? You go one, two, three, four, like five, six, maybe seven times. You'd run up and down. But of course you can sprint. So it, like it's not like a game that's going to last a long time. 
And then when we end up playing the game properly, uh, basically we're all going to uh, have our go being the uh, the runner each, uh, taking turns being the, the shooter, uh, and then we can just kind of add up uh, each other's scores. Like, it's basically like a 1v1 game, but of course when we do our when we do our tournament, we can all just take turns and have a, a bunch of time playing it. And then there's just going to be an extra bit here. It doesn't really matter exactly how big it is, but basically this is where the little counting mechanisms, me mechanism uh, is going to, to be. <laughs> Difficult thing to say. Uh, where there's going to be the two chests here, then all of the, the rest of the redstone is going to be under the ground like you're not actually going to see any of the redstone it's all going to be uh neatly uh covered up under the ground but as i was saying like this whole area down here was all filled in with water so i was um very busy down there with my little sponge <laughs> getting rid of all of the the water so we'd be able to, to build the the redstone easily so let me show you what we're doing with this glass uh, i also as i never spoke dimension so if you do want to build this yourself uh this stretch along here is 60 blocks along and then from that white block there all the way to this white block there. And hello, spider. You having a, a nice day out on your boat? Uh, that's 15 blocks along. Uh, so if you do, uh, if you are playing along at home and you want to uh, to have a build yourself, uh, then that's kind of the uh, the dimensions that you'll need to do. So yeah, this is going to go orange to here. Then this will go white and basically just line this up with the the rest of the the wall. This will go along here like that. Uh, and then I guess if I end the the green there, actually I could do I could do the white going along. We might as well go along and do it over this bit. Uh, God, remind me in the next episode to bring some shears. Oh, I wish you could actually remind me. Maybe I should like live stream this, then you can all shout at me to <laughs> to remind me about some of this stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's going to go along there like that. Then this is going to go, of course, uh, white all the way uh, along there. And I guess William can carry on uh, placing down all of the, uh, the glowstone and stuff. And yeah, we'll just go and try and get uh, as much of this done uh, as possible. But I mean, to be fair, now we've done like the first corridor. Basically, every corridor we do on now is going to be the same. So tell you what, let's try and finish this corridor here, William. And then we do a test to go. Uh, and then, then we do like a little show off go because I am very conscious that this game probably seems like the most boring game that I've ever done. It's like, yeah, you run along a really long corridor and then you go around a corner and then you run down an equally long corridor. And I know it sounds like the most boring thing, but I did like one little test to go where we just had one go each being, being the, uh, the shielder and the shooter. And it was so much fun. Like we were really laughing and joking around. Like it was really tense. So, and I do think there is actually a surprising amount of strategy uh, related to running down uh, these long corridors. So that's something that I'm looking forward to. Uh, so yeah, I think the opening should be in there. Let me see whether all of the... Um the, the glowstone and stuff that is down in this side. To be fair, it doesn't really matter uh, too much. Uh, oh, yeah. And of course, the other thing we will add in... Oh, God, it's very dark in here. You know, for now, I might just add a little bit of glowstone in the, the ceiling. Just a, a little bit down here. Just so I don't have any more torches on me. Just so I can see anything that I'm doing right now. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. Uh, scrap that. I'll make some beds. Uh, something that I was going to say is we are going to have to have some beds. Obviously, where <laughs> an option, uh, possible outcome in the game is that you could die. <laughs> that is is like one of the uh, the fail states of the the game uh, it's always very important to have beds nearby so uh, if you don't uh, you'll be able to respawn another rule and this might seem a bit weird <laughs> is that you can only eat potatoes when playing this game and that is not a silly made up stupid rule that i came up for no reason uh, that is an actual proper thing that needs to be done for gameplay reasons basically because uh, oh can you throw me some orange wool please uh, william uh, yeah, basically because uh, if everyone was eating different food, uh, you would basically respawn your health at different rates. So basically, if I'm eating bread and William's eating carrots and Fizzy's eating cookies, it's basically going to be different for how quick our hunger goes up for uh, how quick we can... Um uh, for how quick we can uh, like get our health back up. So, uh, oh, the bed's too far away. Uh, I just saw there's a bunch of googlies by there, so I wanted to, <laughs> to go to sleep as fast as possible. So yeah, so as long as we all say we're eating the same food, then it will be fair. And seeing as none of us really have like a giant love for uh, <laughs> for potatoes, that seemed like the fairest way to do it. Like if I said like you can only eat cakes, then like William would be like, well, I want to have carrots and stuff. So this is the uh, the fairest way I could uh, I could think to do it. Anyway, let's have a, a test to go. We're only going to have one test to go now, William, and then I'll have another test to go in the uh, the next one. Would you like to be a shooter... Or a shielder. I will throw down both pieces of equipment, and you can choose which one you want to to be. Oh, oh, oh! You need wood. You need you need some wood. 
Is that what you're saying? Or you want, oh, food. You want apple. Uh, here I am saying like, and we're going to eat loads of tasty potatoes. And you're there drooling, starving away. <laughs> right. Do you want to be a shooter or a shielder? Pick up. Oh, I don't know if that was your conscious effort. I had assumed you'd probably want to be the, the shooter anyway, to be fair. Right. All right. You go this side then. We'll just do two corridors. You've got to slow me down as much as you can. And I'll try and get to the end uh, as fast as you can. And hopefully uh, that will be enough. Oh, oh, something else. What else you are? Oh, oh, arrows! <laughs> yeah, no, that would be uh, that would be quite helpful. Sorry, I keep forgetting that you didn't have anything. Right, for now, I'm going to leave my armor on because I don't fancy dying. But of course, in the actual game, you won't have any armor on uh, because uh, that's going to be you know another way to make it fair. Right, I'll begin in three, two, one, go, 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 go. So now I would have started the clock, and so if I crouch. I'll block the arrows. Oh, it's so weird and glowy, isn't it? When it goes through there. So I got to watch to see whether... Oh, that was it. So I can now sprint for a little bit. And then, oh, but I did I didn't block in time. I didn't block in time. So normally, that would have taken away like half my health. And so here, it's super tense. Because I got to go slowly. Then I can run. Then I can run. And I'm going to have a little bit to run backwards. Oh, my glowstone's in the way. Turn around and block. Oh, then I can turn. Then I can turn. Run, 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 run. So here, I might say I'm going to keep on running. Because I got enough health, I'll be okay. So the glowstone does kind of block it a little bit. Oh no, I set up at just the wrong time. So I'd be almost dead now and be forced to go slow the next time. And that, would only, that was only two corridors. We'd have like, you know, that was only like a third of how long the actual game would be. So hopefully that small demonstration was enough to, to keep you interested to see the outcome and uh, the eventual tournament of this game, which doesn't have a name. Squashy did suggest the name Corridors. And I do quite like the name Corridors because... We are in giant corridors the, the whole time. So uh, that might be the name, but I guess we will uh, find out uh, and see. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed your first time joining us uh, secret uh, in an episode. I kept you uh, safe uh, throughout the, the boat at the same time. Uh, sorry, William, I didn't keep you uh, very safe. Uh, maybe I'm uh, better at looking after dogs than I am beavers. <laughs> anyway, though, that is the end of the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!